We've we've been here for three hours and a staff member has peed on the floor. If I was expecting pee on the floor, it was gonna be from a toddler, not an adult. Hang on. That said 18 quid an hour. I've been here all day and I only earned 22 quid. Hey lovies, welcome in. I thought we'd try something a little bit different and start a new series where we have a little look at some of the amazing gameplay mods that are out there for The Sims 4. We're gonna start off with a mod called Tumbling Tots Company, which was originally by It's Katato and has now been adopted and updated by Need Coffee for that. There is a link in the description below if you'd like to check it out for yourself and I highly recommend that you do. It basically gives us an active daycare career where we can either start a daycare in our own home or we can go off and work in a real daycare center and let me just say i am blown away by how good this mod is over the next few months we're going to be checking out a whole bunch of different mods and if you've got any suggestions for gameplay mods that you think i should try please let me know in the comments down below so this is tia Tia is a young adult. She's gonna be our daycare teacher. She enjoys knitting. She's a bit of a knitter, so her house has got some knittery stuff in it. She's creative, she's a goofball, she's childish, and apparently she's a muser. We need to get her a job. Now we're gonna explore this mod completely from scratch. I've never used it before, never touched it before. I don't know how it works. We're gonna be figuring it out as we go today. We need to get her started on a career. I think that's probably the first thing. So yeah, we can choose either an at-home daycare teacher which we're not going to do today because we haven't got our house set up for it but the at-home daycare providers care for children in their own homes while their parents are at work or otherwise engaged during the day they take care of the child's every need including playing games with them feeding them providing basic education as requested by parents and here at tumbling tots company we tra uh, train you on how to run your at-home daycare so they get 24 pounds an hour that's an amateur babysitter now we can also choose the daycare teacher it says your daycare providers care for children in their own homes or daycare facilities while their parents are at work or otherwise engaged in the day so the rest of it is exactly the same but that's only 18 pounds an hour so 18 civilians an hour is a little bit less than the 24 that the at home teacher gets but we do get to go and work in a nursery so we're going to choose this one she works every day by the weekends which is fairly standard so we've got two days now because it's saturday i didn't plan that well did i it's saturday now the question i have is is she going to be the only teacher in this daycare or is she going to have colleagues right since she has also got the nifty knitting aspiration i do want her to get started on some knitting we may as well so down here we've got her job so we've got um teacher's aid so that's her job title at the moment she's on 18 quid an hour she goes to work in two days she works from seven until three they're actually really good hours at Actually. The required mood is playful, which is handy because she is a playful sim. She needs to, um, to get a promotion, attend an active work day in the daycare career venue. So it says here, when it's time for Tia to start work, the option will appear to follow along to the career venue and actively participate in the work day. Now, hopefully this will take us to the daycare that we made. This is our daycare center. I need to change it up here to daycare. But it's quite a simple little building that has inside it an entrance hall here. We've got the classroom. There's a lot to the classroom there's a lot of different areas i don't know how many children to expect that's the thing with this career they could be one child they could be 10 i have no idea how many children to expect so i've catered for the maximum <laughs> <laughs> I've catered for as many children as we could possibly fit into this place. We've got a little food area over here. We've got a bathroom with potties and a little child sized sink. We've got a sleep area, a non movers area over here, and then like an art area and reading corner, general play stuff in here. Outside, we've got um, we've got a little area with shelves that have got some games and um, some equipment for the sand pit, which is here. We've got a little home corner with miniature stuff in it. We've also got there's some art things outside as well we've also got a little themed area this is our little space area and then the rest of the garden which is just like play stuff really there's a little allotment where they can work with the teacher and then i've done them a construction area as well and then the rest of the nursery this area here it's just the staff area so we've got the office we've got the staff room and the staff leaves hopefully it will send her there there is no other daycare in the world so fingers crossed right i'm going to continue speeding her through do we want to get her to meet some friends tomorrow it might be quite nice for her to have a bit of a life outside of the nursery as well oh a person who are you mate you look very confident what's your name oh it's bjorn hi bjorn 
Let's say hello to him. Oh, except we have a phone call. Hello? Oh, uh, no, I'm not. No, Kyle. If Kyle comes to stay, he might keep on top of the housework while we're at work. I'm going to invite Kyle over to stay. Yeah, come on, Kyle. You can come stay. I'm not at home, though. You might have to wait for me to get back because you don't have a key. Oh, Kyle is already here. He's let himself in. Who gave you a key, Kyle? I don't really know a lot about Kyle. I'd like to get to know him a bit and we'll find out a little bit about him because I don't actually really know much at all. What are you dancing to? I don't have any music. Kyle is a genius. What career do you have, Kyle? Do you work? You're unemployed. Okay, are you, how are you planning on paying the rent? <laughs> do you have any way of doing that, mate? So we've got work tomorrow morning. Let me speed her bath up a bit. She's either just really enjoying herself that she doesn't want to get out. Oh, this is a really rubbish bath, but she's been in there for like two hours. Right, I'm going to get her out of the bath. She's pretty much clean. That'll do. She's going to get filthy at work tomorrow anyway. Use the loo, wash your hands, and then come and make some tea. Are you okay there, Kyle? <laughs> He's still going. I wish I knew what you were listening to, lovey, because that, that sounds like you're having fun. Um, dinner's ready, Kyle. Oh, well done. You break my bowl, Kyle. Kyle, you break my bowl. Would you like something to eat? Right, it's actually quite late now. It's now 11 at night. She's got work in like nine hours. So I say we go to sleep. I'm going to assign the bed just to me because I don't want Kyle getting in with me in the night. I don't know if he bought his own sleeping bag. That's the problem. Hopefully he did because I haven't provided any facilities for him. So yeah, he's not doing much. He, he stood and stared out of that window all night long. He was there. <laughs> he was there for seven hours. We go to work in 40 minutes. Tia, grab some leftovers and then we'll get changed ready for work. Right, okay. Tia's daycare shift is now starting. Care to join her or should Tia work alone? No, no, we're going to go. Right, this is where we get into the nitty gritty of this mod because uh, we've never done this before. So I don't know what to expect. I imagine it's going to be a little bit like how we've got like the doctor career. There's going to be tasks for us to do. Daycare orientation. Welcome, Tia Harlow, to a vital and rewarding career in the field of childcare. Being new to the job, take some time to get familiarised with the local location, the people and the basic responsibilities of the profession. In time, with skill, dedication and a passion to help her fellow sims, T will no doubt go far in her career. Okay, so we've got other stuff. Why are they all outside? Oh my word, there's loads of them. There's loads of them. Okay, how many children have we got? We're just going to pause and take stock. Oh my god, there's so many. I was expecting like three. I was hoping there were going to be more because the nursery is big. But in all honesty, I was only expecting about three. We've got one, two. Oh god, we've got babies and toddlers. I'm glad I catered for both. Actually, we've got more toddlers than babies and more baby beds than toddler beds. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're out here without supervision. Have we got nine? I think we've got nine. Please tell me there's none of them in the staff areas. There are no babies in the staff areas. I do want to lock a door. Can I lock? How do I make sure they don't go in here? I don't think I can. I wanted to apply like baby proofing to this door. I don't think I can. Right, Tia, we need to get in this classroom. We need to start getting to know some of these toddlers. So who have we got in here? Actually, can we bring these ones in from outside or are they all coming on their own? Go and pick this baby up. This is, we're going to have to get to know all of these. This is Tristan, Tristan Watson. We've also got, hang on, stop moving around babies. We've got Hirote, we've got Annette. I'm never gonna remember all their names. We've got Brandon. Oh, look at them sitting down in the book corner. We've got Tala and Duncan, DeAndre. I feel like I've lost some more. Oh, you're in here. Oh, one of them's taking themselves to bed. There's another Kyle. Hey, this is Bjorn's son. We met Bjorn yesterday. Oh, we know one of the parents. Any other babies out here? There were babies out here. Where have they gone? How have I lost two babies already? Oh no, I've got a problem. We need to make this sofa bigger. I can't make the sofa bigger. I made it little, so it was like, you know, I was hoping they weren't going to use it. Yeah, we're just going to ignore this. But over here, we've got JC and Robert. Right, I think that's all the babies. We're going to have to do a lot of head counting. Hang on, who's going in there? Oh, it's a teacher. That's okay, that's fine. I'm hoping the game knows that this is the staff area and that they can't go in here because I've got no way of changing this. Right, I've got a few things to do. I've got to take a two-hour virtual staff training course. I've got to give a drink to a toddler. I've got to read a book to an infant and I've got to chat with my co-workers. The babies all seem to know that they needed to go in here. So that's good. Right, while the babies are in there then and the other staff are not in there? Where are the teachers? Where, where are the teachers? We've got one in the garden. There's no teachers in the classroom. I've worked in early years. This is not good. Where, where are you going? 
Oh, she's just coming into the hallway. Um, okay, that's fine. I'm out here to supervise. I'll do my training course here so that I can look out into this area. Go to the computer and click staff training program in the um, daycare pie menu. Okay, daycare. Oh, here it is. Staff training program. Here we go. The fridge is already broken. How are we supposed to have lunch? Also, Tia, where are you? Here, get off your phone. You're at work. Oh, look at all the babies enjoying the nursery. I'm so happy with this. No, no, no. You can't come in the staff room. The staff room isn't safe. There's boxes and stuff everywhere. No, where are you going now? Uh, there's a child in the staff toilets. <laughs> there is a child in the staff toilets. Can someone come and retrieve the child or is that going to be down to me? Is she wet herself? We've, we've been here for three hours and a staff member has peed on the floor. <laughs> if I was expecting pee on the floor, it was going to be from a toddler, not an adult. We've got loads and loads of babies in the toilet. No, I needed to baby-proof these doors. Yeah, that's something I think this mod needs, is the ability to put baby-proofing on some of the doors. Oh my word, they're all going in there. Babies? Babies, this is not what we do. Get out of the toilet. <laughs> do we just pretend this isn't happening? I'm, I'm going to pretend. I'm going to look the other way and pretend it's not happening. How are the babies in the classroom doing? Oh, they're all surrounding Daiki, look. I don't know how to tell what their needs are, but I think everything, they, if they seem happy, everything seems to be okay. Oh, no, no, we've got one in tears. Ainsley, hang on, I didn't see an Ainsley. We gained an extra one. I need to do a head count. We've got an extra. Did one come in late? Okay, so we've got, they're all in the staff room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> oh my good lord. I think we've got eleven. Sweetheart, Brandon, you're not supposed to be in the office. Hi, darling. It's lovely that you're in here, but I'm actually doing a training course. Why don't you go and see what's happening in the classroom? I'm scared someone's going to get electrocuted by this. There's no teachers in the classroom at all. They're all having a little meeting outside. They're sitting on the sofa that doesn't exist. I need to change that. And this fridge is broken. And there's someone tried to cook on it. Oh, we've got a baby going outside. Are we nearly done with this? Oh, Kyle, what do you want, Kyle? I'm at work. Lana McKinnon has asked me out on a date. Now, we don't have a relationship with Kyle, really. But I feel like Tia has a bit of a thing for him. So I'm going to bad mouth Lana McKinnon and say I don't really think that it's a good idea. Kyle, you know that Lana cheated on her last boyfriend. Um, I don't think it's a very good idea. I think you'll just get hurt. So mean. <laughs> Right, have we nearly finished this training course? Oh, we've done it. We've finished the training course. Okay, let's come and so Excuse me? No, thank you. Yes, I know you break it. Now no one can use it, can they? Who was sad? Someone was sad. This one. Okay, I need to pick this baby up and see what we need to do with it. Oh, there we go. Oh, baby, are you happy now, Tristan? We'll put Tristan down for a little nap as well. I don't actually know if Tristan's tired or not. We've got no way of seeing this. But I'm going to put Tristan down for a sleep. I feel like we need to start doing some potty training at some point as well for some of these. Some of them may already be potty trained. We don't know what their skills are. We've got a baby asleep on the floor. I've got such an urge to click and drag the baby. Let's wake up Ainsley and put Ainsley down for a sleep as well. Oh gosh, she needs to pee. She needs to pee. I've got... I've only got an hour left until the end of the day and I haven't done any of these things. Oh no, can someone else put Ainsley to bed, please? Tristan, Tristan, darling, it's lovely. Go to sleep quickly. <laughs> I'm putting him down for an, a nap at two o'clock. His parents are going to kill me. <laughs> He'll never sleep tonight. Right, I think he's fine now. Um, Let's give one of these toddlers a drink. Tia's workday will end in one hour. Right, yeah, we need to hop on this. I'm going to give you a drink. I need to introduce myself to you first. What's your name? Kyle. I should have known. Kyle, um, I'm going to give you a drink, my love. Careful with this baby's head. We've got another baby, Genevieve. Hang on, where did that one come from? God, look at Give drink. Here we go. I've got a half an hour. I need to read a book to an infant. Um, All the infants are sleeping. Uh, Genevieve, wake up. <laughs> We're going to read a book to Genevieve. I haven't even chatted with my co-workers yet. They're all sort of standing about not doing a lot. I would have had more time to do this had I not had to do a two-hour training course in the middle of the day. Tia, give him a drink. Oh, he does want one. There we go. Give it to, give him a drink then. We're we just talking about it. I've got to put him in a high chair. I've got to put him in a high chair for this. Okay, we're going over to the high chairs. Slowly, because I have to pee really badly. <laughs> Damn it. Hang on, I only earned two, two, Hang on. That said 18 quid an hour. I've been here all day and I only earned 22 quid. Is that because I only did one thing? I feel so poor. We were at work from 7 until 3. I earned £2.75 an hour. Wow. How did we do today, though? I only have an average performance. 
Right, we need to do better tomorrow. And I need to get playful before tomorrow. I think tomorrow morning, before we go to work, we have a bubble bath. We get ourselves in a playful mood so that we're ready for the day. Hopefully, I won't have to do any more training. Right, Kyle, did you have a nice day? How was your day today? I'm sorry that you didn't get to go on your date. It's only three in the afternoon or four in the afternoon. Could we go on a date? I'd like to move Kyle in permanently. I quite like him. Let's try a bit of uh, flirtation. Let's have a tiny flirt with Kyle. He may or may not be single. Kyle likes it. We're flirty. He's playful. We're flirty. This is a good combination. Let's try a bit more. Let's exchange numbers. You've already phoned me twice, so you have my number. But would you like it again? And also, are you single? We're going to double check. He must be. He wanted to go on a date. He must be single. He is single. Okay, he nodded. Ask about his romantic interests. Would you be interested in me, Kyle? Because I'm feeling really flirty and you have nice hair. Oh, no, no. He's peeing. Tia! I don't think he noticed. He's in his own little world, bless him. I missed that phone call completely. I didn't even look at what it said. Never mind. He's dancing in the toilet now. Kyle! Mate, what are you doing? Kyle! He's just watching himself dance. Let's ask him if he fancies going on a date because they're flirting autonomously now. Hey, would you like to go on a date? I will change my outfit, I promise. We need to ask for a table. This place, I've lost my date. Oh, he's already at the bar. He's left me. How rude. Tia, should we put on a nicer outfit for our date? What have we got that looks smart for a date? Oh, God, not a lot, really, have we? We'll, we'll have our belly showing. Right, we need to ask for a table for two. My date is flirting with Judith Ward. We're socialised. They're socialising by themselves. Should we order some food? God, they're so flirty, these two. Let's have a deep conversation. We've got to have two of them. Oh, look, our pizza is here. This date is going really well. We've got bronze. Or, is that bronze or gold? It looks gold, but I think it should be bronze. Are you going to eat this? Let's um, let's end the meal. That cost twice what I earned today. That meal was 41 quid. I only earned 22 quid today. She really wants to kind of woohoo him. It was the first date, so we're not going to. We're going to leave him hanging a bit. We could kiss him. There's nothing wrong with kissing on the first date, is there? Right, first kiss has happened. Now quickly scurry to bed. Say goodnight to him. Oh, he's kissing her again. Oh, has he had his heart broken before? Oh, Kyle, are you damaged? That's okay. We'll fix you. Right, okay. We're sleeping. We've got work again in the morning. We're going to get up before six. So I'm going to have this ready. I'm going to get up at half five. Right, it's half five. It's half five. Get up, get up, get up. Wake up. Oh my word. She's probably not. Oh, she's still tired. We're going to have a playful bubble bath. To get ourselves into a playful mood. Because for work tomorrow morning, we need to have an ideal mood, which is playful. The only other thing we've got to do is attend work, which is really quite handy. But we are only on an average performance. Don't really want to get fired. <laughs> Just playful now. Get some leftovers quickly. Quickly get leftovers because you're hungry and you go to work in like 10 minutes. Tia's shift is now starting. Let's go to work. We didn't even eat. <laughs> this is just giving us the exact same message we had yesterday. We're still in orientation. We're currently a teacher's aide. I feel like until we get a promotion, we're probably going to be still in orientation for all of that. Have we got the same children today? Oh God, they're different children. Duncan is still with us. Mind you, they would be different children because it's a different day. Not everybody needs childcare for the full time. We've still got Kyle over here. Right, first thing to do today then. I've got to do another two hour training course. Right, okay, we'll do that first. Staff training. I still can't click on the doors to lock the doors, so we're going to have toddlers in the bathroom again. I'm just going to trust these children to come in on their own. So we're just going to get this training course done, and then we need to go and potty train a toddler. So we'll, we'll do them in order if we can today. How are all the kiddos doing today? How many have we got? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that all of them in here? Is there anyone in bed? No. There's nine indoors, 10, 11, 12, 13. <gasps> We've got 13 today. Too much water has been... Con <gasps> We've just got fined. We used too much water. I only had two baths. What the heck was Kyle doing while I was at work? We've done the two hour training course. Tia, quickly come and potty train the toddler. This one. It's the first toddler I've seen. This is Miho. No, no. Oh dear. Right, we need to discipline a child. Oh, oh well done. Oh, she's bringing food in. Oh, she's going to try and cook it because of the stupid little oven. Oh, that's why. Potty train Miho. Oh God, there's dirty things everywhere over here. I feel like we need to close this area off. Yes, Kyle. Oh, you ended up not going on the date. I'm sorry to hear it, but not sorry, okay? <laughs> I also need to teach a toddler to talk and feed an infant. So I've done two things so far today. So hopefully I've earned more than 22 quid. Oh, who's sad? Who's sad? Oh, this baby's sad. This is Rhett. Have tummy time with an infant. Do we have any non-movers? Harvey. Is Harvey a non-mover? Harvey looks a bit stuck. 
I can't move Bleak the robot, it's right by your head. We're gonna go and do some tummy time together. Let's pick up Harvey and put Harvey in the non-movers area. Tia, so yeah, go and get Harvey. Oh, Harvey went to sleep. Oh, damn it. I need another baby that's not sitting up yet. Do I have any more non-movers? They're all movers. Harvey, I've got to wake you up, darling. You're my only hope of getting this one. Darling, you can't sleep in the book corner, darling. We need to move you to a crib or preferably over to the non-movers area so that we can do some tummy time. I know you're really tired. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Oh, damn it. He can sit up. Harvey, you had me fooled. We're doing tummy time with this toddler over here, this baby. I don't think Rhett needs tummy time, but we're doing it anyway. <laughs> Just forcing babies onto their bellies. I'm sorry, Rhett. I'm so sorry. I also woke Harvey up and brought him outside. I'm going to put him down for a nap. I'm sorry, Rhett. You can crawl as well. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but oh well. It's fine. Everything is fine. Oh, it's one o'clock. I, I don't have time to put you down for a nap. I'm sorry. We've just got to finish tummy time and then I need to teach a toddler to talk and have a cup of coffee. We're only partway through the second blob. I don't know what this is called. We're only partway through the second bit and it's already nearly two o'clock in the afternoon. Tala, you're really close to me. I'm going to teach you to talk. Where is it now? Is it in activities now? It's in activities. Teach to talk. They've moved all of the menus about. Someone smells. I can smell a baby. <laughs> it's this one. Right, done. Done. I'm sorry, Tyler, you don't actually need to sit down with me. Although, it's quite nice that you are. Let's do some flashcards. I'm going to get gold. I'm 100% convinced. We've done flashcards. Stop doing flashcards. I need to give a nap to an infant. I'm going to put you down. <laughs> We're going to have this baby here. Let's put this baby down for a nap. That may well get us to gold as well. We've got half an hour. This baby stinks. Let's clean this baby up. <laughs> oh, we're going to have the nap first. I love how they can hold the babies for naps. It's really cute. I earned 144 quid today. I was screwed yesterday. I was totally screwed out of my earnings yesterday. Oh, we should be nearly ready for a promotion soon. We're currently on one. The next promotion is an early childhood teacher. But it doesn't give me any more information than that. The land grabs have shut my power off. Oh, did I not pay my bills? Oh, pay my bills though. It's only 400 quid. That's fine. All of my earnings from today and yesterday gone. Plus more. And then she absolutely has to eat. Luckily, breakfast is still on the table. And then she really needs to go to bed. She's so tired. Oh, look how much he likes her. He came over to see her when she got in. This is such a sweet relationship. I love it. Right, she's just going to quickly eat her tea. And then we'll have a little chatter with him. We can't, in all honesty, send her to bed at three in the afternoon. So we're going to have to try and keep her up a little bit. They're flirty again already. We're not going to ask to be boyfriend yet. I feel like three dates before we do that. But we are going to compliment his appearance. Oh, oh, okay. We were going to wait three dates before we asked him. Kai would like to ask Tia to be his girlfriend. He wants to take things to the next level. Okay, we can take it to the next level to a degree. But... I'm a good girl and I want more dates before we do anything more, okay? But yes. And then I think we retire to the bedroom. Just her. Because she really needs to sleep. Hang on. He's telling me about his pants. He's telling me about his pants. Hang on. He just told her about his pants. And she responded by saying, I think you need a microscope. Uh, hang on. Are we there yet? I don't think we're quite there yet that you can walk into the bathroom. Oh my word. He wants to move in now. Do we need more dates first? I feel like now is not quite the right time, but I don't know if he's going to take this hard and break up with her. I'm going to say I don't think it's the right time. We've known each other two days, but maybe at a later date. Let's flirt again just to make sure he isn't taking that too hard because he may have done. Okay, yeah, he still likes her. He's fine. Right, um, no, no. <laughs> I'm getting to bed now. As always, thank you so much for watching. I am so impressed with this mod and how seamlessly integrated it feels. If you want to get it for yourself, there is a link down in the description below. And if you enjoyed the episode, please hit like and subscribe and check out my channel for other Sims content. But for now, have an amazing day and I will see you next time.